seemed as if Mara had been defeated, but in fact, he had not yet given up the battle. Now he attacked again. will dare. Will you be my god, architect? Finally I have met you. You will not rebuild your house again. But I am your house. And you live in me. O oh, lord of my own ego. You are pure illusion. You do not exist. The earth is my witness. civilization is, is six billion people trying to make themselves happy by standing on each other's shoulders and kicking each other's teeth in. It's, a, it's not a pleasant situation. And yet, you can stand back and look at this planet and see that we have the money, the power, the medical understanding, the scientific know-how, the love, and the community to produce a kind of human paradise. But we are led by the least among us, the least intelligent, the least noble, the least visionary. We are led by the least among us. And we do not uh, fight back against the dehumanizing values that are handed down as control icons. Uh, this is something, I mean, I don't really want to get off on this tear because it's a lecture in itself. but. Culture is not your friend. Culture is for other people's convenience and the convenience of various institutions, churches, companies, tax collection schemes, what have you. It is not your friend. It, it insults you. It disempowers you. It uses and abuses you. If you are watching these videos, you are probably aware that something is not right with this society. Matter of fact, you probably know without a doubt that the foundation man has built his life upon does not serve the best interests of the majority. You are probably aware that if this continues man will once again be buried under the sea, just like Atlantis and civilizations prior. We have been conditioned and brainwashed by a select few for thousands of years. These entities have been using many means to do so and are even conspiring to further the slavery we find ourselves in. For now I am going to show you a few things to begin breaking away from this cancerous lifestyle and some of the social conditionings put in place that limit your perceptions. Let's look at a human in its natural setting, with an above average vibrational field. First off let's add some shoes and fluoride deposits. Followed by the remnants of preservatives, additives and GMOs. Now let's see the effects of these on the field. 
As you can see the shoes have severed the grounding connection to the earth, and the deposits of various chemicals have drastic effects on the body's overall health, as well as blocking the pineal gland's ability to function, cutting off the connection to higher realms. Now we will add a 40-hour work week, with the stress and taxation of body. Some focus on sexual activities. And the fact you are in a toxic society. It's easy to see how much of an impact this culture has on your being. The field is virtually depleted in entirety, it is no wonder the average person has no other focus than material gain, the spiritual world is in fact non-existent to them. We now have an obedient slave or what some people like to call, a sheeple. So we've established this society is very sick. But you already knew that. Here are some things you can do to begin restoring your health and latent abilities. These include both the physical, mental and emotional body. First you're going to want to detox. There is a lot of gunk built up in your body from just associating with this cancerous culture. You're going to want to flush your body by drinking lots of clean water. Your tap water most likely contains fluoride, ammonia, chlorine and various heavy metals. This is enough to shut your psychic abilities down. The best is rainwater, or water from a local spring, distilled water is ideal. Next you want to stop eating processed foods, meat and dairy. If you have raised your vibration to a certain degree, you may have decided to stop consuming these things already. Switch to live fresh fruits and vegetable based diet, preferably raw and organic. A juicing detox is ideal for the first month to move the system along. Next we want to further flush the system. Garlic is a wonderful natural healer, a clove twice a day along with, gold and seal root will do wonders in clearing out your highways. With the diet side of things addressed, we want to be more conscious of our grounding. Spend more time standing on bare earth without shoes. This will redevelop your connection to earth and increase your ability to anchor light. Along with that, daily meditation for at least 20 minutes. As earth is well into its frequency expansion it is important to keep up to date with the energetic changes. Be sure to spend lots of time out in nature away from the harmful electromagnetic signals our cities are buried under, not to mention the dense vibrations that linger from lower mentality. Spend some time restoring life force back into your water and food before eating by taking a minute or two to imagine spiraling light flowing into the food stuff. This will re-energize the matter which will aid your body's ability to transmute. Finally, as we are approaching the speeding up of density it is wise to turn inwards and resolve and release any negativity or fear you are holding on to, whether it be present or from past experiences. As the Earth's vibration rises, these slower negative vibrations will be released in a forceful nature, it is best to have them resolved to avoid discomfort. There are more things you can do, but by taking these things into account you will see significant results and be well on your way to personal ascension.